Good morning. I want to welcome you to this webinar on the courses Southwest College offer in the areas of building services with sustainable energy. So joining us today, um, I have myself, Vanessa O'Keefe, who is the course director, and Julie Kelly, our Higher Education Development Coordinator. Throughout the presentation, please feel free to ask questions using the question and answer panel at the top right hand corner. I'll go through these at the end and answer any of your questions. Today you are maybe faced with some big decisions on what course to study or what college or university to go to. So I just want to outline some of the advantages of choosing Southwest College. One of the major advantages is that it can often be cheaper to study at the college if you're studying a foundation degree or the level six top up BEng program. And later on in the slides, I can discuss the cost of these. Overall, you will have less debt because you may be studying closer to home and you will have less living costs and accommodation costs, which is a massive bonus being able to achieve your qualifications without having a massive debt at the end having to pay it back. At the college, we tend to have smaller class sizes than university classes, and this will mean more individual attention from your tutors and lecturers and one to one support through tutorial sessions every week. During the year, your course director will discuss with you a wide range of bursaries and scholarship opportunities for higher education students. This will often help you financially throughout your studies. So more good reasons to study at the college. We have excellent support and guidance from our student support services. These are in the areas of careers, finance. They'll be able to help you fill out your student loan forms and give you guidance and direction. There is support and academic mentoring throughout your academic journey and health and well-being. You can choose from a broad range of qualifications across a wide area of subject areas. You'll get access to state of the art facilities and equipment that you would find in industry. Throughout the programme, you'll have the opportunity to work in labs and use software such as CAD, Revit, BIM, and these are all relevant in today's industries within the building services and the energy sectors. The team is made up of full time lecturers, each within a specialist area but you'll also have the opportunity to be exposed to lecturers currently working in the industry. So you will be informed about current industry practices. You'll also have the opportunity within your level five program to choose from a wide range of placement opportunities through the work-based learning module. This gives op students opportunities to expose themselves to the wor world of work and perhaps gain some insight into a career that they may want to choose. Some further reasons to study at the college. Perhaps you play sport locally, therefore you can continue to do so, or you've got certain community interests and you want to be close to your friends and family. So therefore having your studies locally will give you this opportunity. It gives you an opportunity to make new networks and connections at the college. You'll be studying with students working in the industry. Therefore, it's an excellent opportunity to network and build links within the industry and get to know your local companies and what opportunities they can offer you as a student. In the past few years, we have been able to give our students a number of international and regional work placements. These are in the areas of China, Russia, Canada, Lithuania. So there is many international opportunities throughout the two years that you can be studying at the college. And once you become a student on the course, these opportunities will be explained to you. Studying the course at Southwest College um, will allow you to have highly technical skills in your subject area, but also the softer skills employers are looking for. Throughout the college, we have a number of guest speakers coming in workshops and seminars, and they will help build the students' teamwork, leadership and self-reliance skills. So you'll be 
fully prepared for entering the world of work. I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Julie Kelly. Thank you, Vanessa. So what can we say about student life at Southwest College? Well, we have a number of clubs and societies. These include gaming, esports, LGBTQ+, and Christian societies. Our sports academy teams include Gaelic football, soccer, and futsal. We're delighted to say that we had two All-Ireland winning teams this year. Our men's Gaelic football team won the Higher Education Championship final, whilst the men's soccer team won the Rustler CUFL Division 3 title. We're continuing to invest in our health and wellbeing initiatives, which includes free health clinics and numerous workshops throughout the year that you will be made aware of and encouraged to attend. But we also know that life doesn't always go to plan and sometimes our students do struggle so we also have a free confidential counselling service available to all of our students on campus. This is provided by Inspire Students and accessible on the Digital Support Hub. So please feel free to contact our Student Support Service if you need any more information on our services. In terms of learning support, the College is committed to ensuring that all of our students are offered a supportive learning environment and we can provide a confidential student learning support service which can help students with a disability or a learning difficulty. For example, this can include a note taker during class or support with assignments, assignments outside of class. Or you can also get access to special equipment and software. So again, if you would like to discuss the support available, we would advise that you register with the student learning support team at your campus as early as possible. Now, let's talk finance. As Vanessa mentioned earlier, the tuition fees at Southwest College are significantly lower than universities, with an average saving of around £17,500. So if that isn't a plus, I don't know what is. To support you financially, you can avail of student loans, and that would comprise of the student fees, the tuition fees, the maintenance loan and grants, which is available through Student Finance NI. We would advise that you visit www studentfinanceni.co.uk to find out more about how to apply, the main sources of finance available and, importantly, the repayment terms. You can also contact the College about other finance support which is available. Vanessa covered this in terms of the Southwest College bursary, scholarships and we also have a College Hardship Fund which is processed through the student services and you can contact them again to find out more information on that. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Julie. I'm now, um, as course director, going to talk you through each of the programmes and give you an insight to some of the modules that you're going to be studying. So the first programme is our foundation degree, which is a level four and five programme in building services with sustainable energy. As I mentioned earlier, we're offering this in the Dungannon campus, part time and higher level apprentice. Being a higher level apprentice, you'll be studying two years over three semesters. And to be an apprentice, you need to be a full time employee of a company within Northern Ireland. If this is the case, you will be able to get financial support and get your fees paid for by the Department of Economy. It's a massive bonus to be an apprentice because you're able to progress your academic journey while working in the industry. Already mentioned, some of the areas that you'll be studying throughout the two years will be air conditioning, ventilation, heating systems, and how these all can be integrated into our built environment. We'll be covering human comfort, which is light, sound, air quality, and again, all of the renewable energies will be covered throughout the two years as well. Studying the foundation degree will give you lots of opportunities to find employment within the sector. And although the last few months have been very challenging for the sector, all our employers have been contacting the college in recent weeks, and we have already been able to give some of our apprentice students that are on this program um, opportunities for interviews in some of the local companies. So please, if you're interested in this course, get in touch with myself and I can guide you and direct you towards some of those job opportunities. 
if you're studying part time and perhaps you don't have employment at the moment, uh, this course will give you the skills and the knowledge set to be able to find employment within a design office environment or down the route of a mechanical and electrical contractor or within any, any sorry or within any of the renewable energy industries. The aim is to build your experience to become senior engineers and project managers on large jobs and projects. Perhaps you've already finished a level five qualification such as an HND or a foundation degree, and you wish to progress your academic journey onto a level six. At Southwest College now we're offering the BEng, which is a top up honours degree. We're offering the building services with sustainable energy in our inner skill and campus part time, and this will take two years part time. The overarching aim of the level six top up is to produce high caliber graduates who have obtained the knowledge to undertake roles within many of the disciplines within mechanical, electrical and energy. You'll have the skill set to be able to progress your career in senior management and senior engineering aspects. Now to discuss some of the modules. In year one of your foundation degree, you cover a lot of the general aspects of the built environment and how building services and energy is related to that. So in year one, you'll be studying building fabric as it's very important to know the building and the types of building that you're going to be installing the building services systems into. You'll cover mathematics and structures and how that technical knowledge can be applied to the industry. Renewable energy technologies is a very practical module where you'll be carrying out a range of renewable energy experiments and design briefs. Building services in year one concentrates on the domestic situation. And then in year two, this knowledge is transferred into commercial projects. Human comfort is covered in science and comfort. And although you touch on all of the human comfort aspects and the technical knowledge that you require, you'll be then able to apply this to the industry. And lastly, CAD and Intro to BIM. This is a crucial module in year one as this gives you the skill set that you will require in a professional capacity within the industry. You're using CAD, Revit and BIM software, which is now used across the world. At the end of year one, you'll naturally progress into year two if you've successfully achieved all of your modules in year one. The modules covered in year two is using the knowledge that you've already gained in year one and being able to apply that technical knowledge to design briefs. So in building services commercial projects, you will have the opportunity to work on a design brief for a commercial project such as an office block, a leisure centre, a multi-storey car park, so depending on the type of project it is, you'll have the opportunity to apply your skills obtained in year one. Moving on then, you'll study mathematics. And again, this will not be pure mathematics. This will be mathematics applied to the industry and applied to the building services and energy scenarios that you will actually be facing in your working life. Microgeneration is a technical module that you'll be able to apply to each of the systems within building services. Project management is a great opportunity for students to gain the skill set needed to progress onto a project management role. And at the end of year two, you will undertake a work based learning module. For those that are already study or sorry, already working in the industry, this will be an opportunity perhaps for you to work in a different department and gain further skills. If you're not already working in the industry, it's an opportunity for you to get a feel of what interests you in the industry and what maybe where you want to go in the future. Moving on then to the BEng top up level six program. This will be studied two years part time in the Enniskillen campus and some of the modules is green building design. 
This covers the passive house principles and how to improve human comfort within the built environment sector. Again, transferring your knowledge from the level five project management module, you then take project management and professional ethics. This is a crucial module for preparing students for the working industry. Collaborative project module, it's an opportunity to work in a group environment to improve your collaboration and your communication skills, as these are vital in the working environment when you will be working with other disciplines. The HVAC module, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, builds on the technical knowledge previously gained in your level five qualification. And it's all about being able to apply your knowledge to these modules in level six. Lastly, you have an opportunity for your dissertation module. And like any other honours degree, this module is at the end of your programme. And perhaps you're already working in the industry and you, along with your employer, has a topic or a project that you wish to develop. And this module is an opportunity to do so. You'll be able to discuss it with your tutor designated to yourself and be able to progress it within the college. So overall, the modules gives you a really good base, technical base and design to be able to progress into the industry in a senior role. Now to cover some of the entry requirements to be able to get onto the programmes. In year one, you may have come from a various range of backgrounds in terms of your qualifications. You may have just studied A-levels or a BTEC, a level three NVQ, or perhaps you've got a level three OCR qualification or the Scottish certificate or an Irish Leaving certificate. Depending on what your level three qualifications are, please do get in touch with myself and I can discuss these qualifications with you. But please keep in mind, we do need to have a minimum of five GCSEs or equivalent, and these need to include English and Maths grade C. Or perhaps you have got essential skills in literacy or numeracy. But again, please do get in touch and I can discuss the entry requirements with you. Generally, we're asking for 48 UCAS points. To gain entry into the BEng Level 6 Top Up program, it requires applicants to have successfully completed a foundation degree or a relevant Level 5 qualification, such as an HND, in a related discipline. To be able to gain entry at Level 6, you also need to have your GCSE English Language and Maths at Grade C or equivalent essential skills. Perhaps you're an international student and we would be delighted to recruit international students. Please get in touch and I will outline the application process and guide you through it. Perhaps you're a student that hasn't studied academically for a number of years. There is also an option to gain entry onto the course through a recognised prior learning or through your experience that you've gained in the years working in the industry. To be able to go down these routes, you will also need to have your GCSE English and Mathematics or equivalent. But please, if you are a student that wishes to gain entry onto the course through the recognised prior learning or through your experience in the industry, please get in contact with myself and I will discuss the process and I will support you through that process. Upon successful completion of your foundation degree, so after your two years, you can gain entry into the level six top up. Or you can enter into employment. It's recognised by itself the foundation degree, so you will achieve your foundation degree certificate after your level five. There is a number of top up programmes at we offer at Southwest College, but 
naturally progressing onto the building services with sustainable energy B-Eng top up. If you're studying the B-Eng top up, then you can progress your academic journey by applying for a postgraduate program such as a master's at level seven. While studying at the college, you'll be exposed to various teaching, learning and assessment methods. Some of these will be in the form of lectures, workshops, practicals, seminars and weekly tutorials. The course teams are all very supportive and approachable and we're there to support you on your academic journey. So please, if you do become a student of the course, feel free to approach your lectures. At foundation degree level, the assessment will be carried out through a variety of methods. Some of these are coursework assignments throughout the semester, class tests, practical assessments within the lab, and end of module examinations. Throughout the two years, you will be exposed to a number of group activities and professional presentations to a small industrial panel. So there's a wide range of assessment methods throughout the two years that satisfies many different types of learners. So hopefully you'll find something that suits you. At level six, the assessment of core modules will be a combination of coursework, professional reports, presentations, and a small number of exams. At foundation degree level and level six, the minimum overall mark is 40%. So perhaps we have discussed something this morning that you feel is interesting and you want to find more out about the course. Please feel free to contact me and email me. I'll put my email address up in the um, chat. If you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them or feel free to put them up on the live event question and answer session and I will reply to them. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen today.